smile. Deer Camp 2022. What are y'all eating? Hey guys, this is Nathan Mann, your host of Beards and Bows Outdoors. We are camping this weekend, doing a little bit of deer hunting. My hunting spot is actually just a few miles down the road outside of this park here, so I don't have to go very far. There's camp. Let me turn the camera around. Doe, 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 doe. Meow. Bow season just started just about a week ago, October 1st here in Illinois. It's been kind of slow, seen a couple of does. And the buck activity started to pick up a little bit. I asked God for a harvest moon buck, and guess what? I got the harvest moon buck. I made some good meals while I was here. That's been cooking all day. I'm about to grub. Look at that. The bucks are on the move. They're in the daylight and everything. Caught one slipping. Let's see what happens. All my non-hunting friends, check it out. Catching deers, I told you I was gonna be catching deers. Guess what, I finally caught one. I finally caught me a deers. Y'all can go ahead and quit asking me if I caught a deer yet. No, I'm just playing. It's all good fun. Roxy. Almost to that field where you drive through. Oh, there's blood all on this branch. Look at all that. Hold her. Hold her. Hold her. Hold her. Did you find it? <laughs> Stay back. Stay back, guys. Hold up. <laughs> Look at that body. Thank you, my little blood tracking family here. All right. When you didn't put enough gas in the truck before you left, you're like 10 minutes from home. Yeah, that's what deer hunting's all about right there. Look at them loins. Here's a tip if you process your own deer and you also smoke meats, this is fat that I've saved from trimming a brisket. I'll grind this through and then I'll grind my burger, mix it all together, and I'll just run it back through the grinder again and it adds extra flavor, adds a little brisket-y flavor. Burgers mixed up, ready to go in one pound packages. This buck produced over 50 pounds just in burger and then a bunch of deer loins. I don't really do the steaks anymore. I just do the deer loin. If I want steaks, I'll just cut them down. I save some inner deer loin for later on. Awesome, awesome harvest. From field to table. I have some fresh cubed up inner back straps, which I call the sweet meat. That's the best part of the deer. Then you have battered morels from this spring. I'm gonna fry these up in some butter. 
I saved some of these morels just for this occasion. Some sea salt and cracked black pepper. So tender. Frying up the morels. Here's the bow's out.